But um, before I came into Mary Kay, uh, my background's in public education. I was an elementary school teacher and had the opportunity to work all in Cumberland County schools, and I was a school administrator. And you're like, why is she telling us this? I'll let you know in a second. Um, because a lot of, we, we laugh in Mary Kay and we say, nobody wakes up and says, I think I'm gonna be a Mary Kay lady, no. So it was really uh, my faith journey, and I'll share a little bit more about that. Um, but uh, over the past couple of years, I've had the opportunity to, to serve in public education. I have ran for public office as well. Uh, but most recently, I was very blessed with the opportunity to work uh, in Washington, D.C. on behalf of North Carolina with the National Education Association. So fast forward over the past year, had a major life situation. We all do. Life happens. And uh, God really opened my eyes up to a lot of things. And so when we turn into our faith, and I'm sure a lot of women have spoke about their faith and, and, and their, their faith walk. You'll hear a little bit more about that with the ladies up here too. Things change and it's about perspective and mindset. Many of us um, have accomplished a lot when it comes to you know, degrees and colleges and service in the community. And um, those are really blessings, but it is really about how we serve. And so last summer, um, I had the opportunity uh, to go into leadership with this company. I fought it tooth and nail and said, I'm not doing this. I have a master's degree. <laughs> no, true story. And um, then I had some sales directors talked to me and said we need positive women encouraging women to go into business and that shifted my thinking I had been in management in schools um, I had worked with women um, with the Junior League of Fayetteville in my sorority I had done community work etc and so I say all of this because often what God plants in you what the seeds he plants in you through your schooling will open a lot of opportunities for you so with that being said I'm very very excited about my journey in Mary Kay I am a future executive sales director I work with women in Fayetteville Lumberton and Raleigh and our unit continues to grow but the best part is I get to work with women that want to build their business so and help their family so that's a little bit about me so I'm glad to be here today but um, I'm middle-aged this is my second career path um, after 20 years and I was just speaking to Miss Barker about going to, um, I'm pre-nursing and I wanted to know I'm having a hard time definitely being out of school for so long coming back I'm a wife military wife and thank God I have teenager kids but balance has still like I was telling her I've come home from work and I'm working part-time at 11 o'clock, you asked me what's for dinner. I had a blowout. So I'm trying to balance, you know, not to feel avoiding my family, my home, work, and school, trying to find balance. So that's really for anybody on the panel to see. I'm going to chime in real quick and I will pass it down to you. Um, I appreciate you sharing that because I think every woman, man in this room, especially parents, can attest to that. So one of the things that um, I train when I work with the ladies in our business and because I learned it from a coach and a mentor as well finding balance has to start with filling yourself up too you have to start with self and what that looks like when I teach people and when I teach myself because you have to walk the talk is you've got to find things in your life first that are going to bring you some peace and joy and rest for you first right. because then when you're full you can give back to your career your school your family your ministry whatever that is and I tell ladies this all the time you have even if it's five minutes a day whatever that looks like you have to schedule those things because what will happen that will go to the wayside right. your fun your freedom your joy your love all of that because you will be working to build whatever you're looking to build so I tell people flip it do what you love schedule it in make it a priority and then you'll have more to give to all of the others that are needing that level of support and then um, the blessings will continue to flow so I always start with self so I just wanted to make sure I shared that with you as well